In the previous video, I talked about the uh, QA process, so how you interact with the 3D model uh, to see if the calculated quantities were correct. If you have a, a larger model, uh, it may be desirable to isolate parts of that model uh, so you can really focus on, on those parts to do that, uh, that QA of the, uh, the model-based quantities. The filtering panel lets you do that. And with the filtering panel, you can isolate by model, by layer, by element type, or by a manual selection. And uh, in this video, I'll explain how you can use it. In this video, I will use the filtering panel in the 3D view. And I will explain uh, the types of filters that you can apply. And then in combination with those, uh, which filter modes uh, there are for the 3D view. Then I will also explain how you can save a filter so you can reuse it later. In the uh, takeoff model view, or actually in any other view set that uh, contains a 3D view, uh, you have two panels here to the right of the 3D view. So there's a filtering panel and a properties panel. And it is the filtering panel that we'll use uh, to define these uh, isolated views of elements uh, that you would like to focus on. So let's hover over the filtering panel and the first filter that I'd like to explain is the uh, show all show only unassigned toggle. If I select the show only unassigned um, I uh, isolate those elements that have not been included in a takeoff item. So when I click the isolate filter mode I click apply, I get an element that doesn't have uh, a takeoff item assignment and will therefore not be included in the, in the quantity takeoff or in the cost plan. Can go back to the filtering panel and go back to show all and apply that and I get the whole model back again. So in filtering there's three view modes. I just use the isolate mode, then there is hide selected and then there is translucent mode as well which uh, makes all non-selected elements translucent. So let's go through the filtering options. The first filtering option is, uh, is model and uh, the model uh, filter allows you to select one or more models that you would like to include in your filter. So let's say I want to focus on the superstructure that means that I need to place a check mark right next to superstructure, uh, select the isolate view mode and then click apply and then I only see the uh, superstructure model in my 3D view. To reset a filter I click reset all and that restores the whole model. The location filter type uh, will contain all the locations that we define later on uh, when we talk about the LBS manager and you can isolate locations that you have defined or imported from uh, your model and uh, view those elements that belong to a certain location. Layer filters out elements that are placed on a certain layer in the BIM application and type are the Vico office element types. So in here I can say I only want to uh, view the uh, beam elements in that case I scroll to the beam rectangular um, object type uh, select the the view mode isolate selected and hit apply and now I only see elements in my project that are of the beam element type let's reset that filter again what I want to do next is combine filters uh, so let's say I want to only view the slabs that are in my substructure. So in that case I select a slab in here, so I place a check mark. In the filter option you see that it's highlighted. Then I go to model and select the substructure. And now you see that I got two filter options activated. Then I can select the view mode and click apply. And now I see only the slabs that are included in the substructure model. Of course, I can also hide these elements. That means that I need to select the hide selected option. Click apply. 
and now I see all elements that do not belong to those categories. So let's reset all the filters. The fourth option is to manually select a collection of elements in your model using the selection mode. You can activate that from the 3D view ribbon. Let's do that. Select the selection mode. Uh, the cursor remains a uh, an arrow, and that means that I can select a collection of elements. So let's pick a few floors, column, and column here, and then uh, maybe uh, a beam object as well. There we go. And then in the filtering panel, I can go to the manual filtering option. I'll delete the ones that I already had there by clicking on the cross. And then I click Add Selected, and it adds the elements that I had selected in my 3D view to a new filter set. I include those items in a new filter by placing a check mark, just like we did in the other filters. Then I choose a uh, filter mode and click Apply, and now I have the collection of elements that I had selected filtered in this view. This will also be uh, extremely helpful when we're doing the, uh, the Q&A of takeoff items and takeoff quantities when we have elements with missing quantity selected. This is a quick way to isolate those elements uh, so you can review which quantities may be missing. Let's go back into the filtering panel and reset the filter. And if I would like to store a filter, so let's say I'm going to select these and I want to hide apply. I can type a filter name and then say selection hidden and uh, I can save that as a new filter. So the next time I want to use this filter I can look it up in this drop down and reactivate it and I don't need to uh, reselect the elements that I want to include. So using the filters uh, is, a, is a really fast way to create a focused view on larger models uh, so that you can uh, uh, interact with the model in an optimal way. In this video, I explained the use of the filtering panel, which contains filter types and filter modes. Filter types define the content that needs to be filtered, and the modes uh, define how that content needs to be filtered. It can be isolated, it can be hidden, or it can be used so that the rest, uh, so the unselected elements remain translucent. Then I also explained how you can uh, save a filter by typing a name and, and saving that name so you can reuse that filter later uh, when you need to uh, isolate the same elements again.